Leo, welcome to your mid-month July. One message that I am getting for is that phrase, the truth shall set you free. So that to me feels like somebody is feeling stuck. I'm seeing the eight of swords and almost where somebody's feeling uh, like they're unable to move, not sure what direction to go in, kind of feeling bound in a situation or like their hands are tied. This may even be a legal situation that is going on. I'm getting, though, a mother or motherly figure. This could be grandmother, great-grandmother, aunt, sister, but <clears throat> there's something, there may be a legal situation about this person. Uh, it may even be that something happened to them and somebody is trying to find the truth or find justice for this person. So let's see what the cards are going to tell us, but these are just messages that I am picking up prior to the spread. Okay. So with the justice that I'm feeling and the, the Eight of Swords that I'm seeing, I feel like Gemini, Aquarius, Libra <clears throat> may be of importance. Also, uh, I feel like somebody, there's a lack of voice or unable to speak, or maybe somebody is speaking on someone's behalf. So let's just see. Okay, Leo. I have the Emperor. The four in the major arcana, so Aries may be of significance here. The six of cups. The five of wands, and that's also in my challenge position. The king of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles. Oh, wow, and the Queen of Wands. So, I've got the Emperor here. Let me move this forward. So, whatever messages I say prior to the reading still hold true. We've got the Emperor, which uh, I feel like something is being built uh, this could be a building, this could be a relationship, but there's something about solidarity or a solid foundation, but I'm focused on how he's got something in each hand, and I feel like some of you have a choice to make. I think that this could be in terms of love, and there may be some battles or strife going on, especially with the Five of Wands here. Um, this, to me, can mean that there is some type of tension or disagreements, arguments, conflicts. But often this card for me, this came up for another sign, and I can't remember what sign. I think it was a water sign where uh, this is often comes up as internal conflict. Now, I think though that some of you are gonna have a very productive month, mid-month July, money will be coming in. Uh, we've got the, the King of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. But, you know, it's interesting because we do have both the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So there's some kind of creative endeavor that some of you are taking on. Some of you, I feel like this may be a choice in terms of where you want to live, where you want to put your roots down is... Uh, something that's coming across but you know and and also having some form of independence 
Um, this is, there may be even be a situation of somebody retiring or that there's a retirement party for somebody or in honor of somebody. There's some type of celebration. I'm also getting a reunion. I'm hearing that song reunited and it feels so good reunited, but I'm, or it's understood the one thing we had. I feel like there's something about the past with the six of cups here. Uh, something gets rekindled is how it's coming across to me that a uh, soulmate or um, I'm okay. What is that? Uh, I just heard twin flame. So this could be a twin flame situation like, you know, that is going on here or a soulmate situation, but definitely a lot of nostalgia, new beginnings with the four. And I feel like there's decisions to be made where you want to put your energy, where you want to put your creativity um, and with the emperor here, we've got the king of pentacles, the queen of wands. There may be a, a decision in love that also needs to be made for some of you. And it can be with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a fire is definitely standing out, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So, um, and obviously you're a fire sign. This can represent you to me. And, um, but I just get wanting independence, wanting freedom from a situation. So the emperor can sometimes be, um, a bit rigid, not, uh, flexible. So you might be dealing with somebody that's a bit rigid and you're wanting that freedom, like I said at the beginning of the reading before the spread, um, gaining independence away from a situation that has had some obstacles or tension in it. So these are just some messages that I am picking up for you, Leo. If you would like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.